What's up, guys? I'm your host, Albert Vartanian, and this is The Parlay Today. The trilogy boxing fans have been waiting for is almost here. This weekend, on Saturday, October 9th, Tyson Fury will meet Deontay Wilder for the WBC Heavyweight World Championship. This is going down in Las Vegas, Nevada at the T-Mobile Arena. So it's Fury Wilder 3, the Bronze Bomber against the Gypsy King. Who will take home the gold? Here's Jackie Pirico. Tyson Fury proved that to a T in the first installment of what'll be a heavyweight trilogy come the weekend. Deontay Wilder KO'd the Gypsy King in the 12th with a ferocious right-left combination that had the American blowing kisses to the crowd and the ref counting Fury out on the canvas. But the Gypsy King went full-on Rocky Balboa to beat the count, danced gingerly for the ref to prove he was ready to go, and then finished the round in total control of the fight. If that one was tied in a close affair, Wilder Fury 2 was anything but. In what we can only hope was an intentional act of Tolkien meets boxing wordplay, Wilder entered the arena dressed as Sauron, the Lord of the Ring himself. Only for Fury to pummel him like a hobbit across the length and breadth of Middle Earth for seven painful rounds. Wilder later blamed the weight of the outfit for his poor performance after the judges awarded the fight to Fury on a TKO. So, what's going down in Vegas on Saturday night in the third installment? Well, the Gypsy King is the bookie's odds-on favorite, basically because he's kind of unhinged, in a good way. He's a friendly, good-natured guy first, and a 6'9 killing machine who doesn't know fear or pain second. But this time, Wilder knows exactly what's coming, and there's way less pressure on the underdog. So, call me crazy, but I'm going for an upset. Wilder is still one of the only heavyweights out there with a genuine KO in the locker. And if he isn't weighed down by expectation or an excessively theatrical costume, why couldn't he reclaim the title? Deontay, if you're listening, here's my advice. If you're going Middle Earth again, how about a Back to Basics Gandalf vibe instead? What could go wrong in the simple cotton tunic of a wandering mystic? It's light and breathable. And a magician's felt hat is a no-nonsense, barely there accessory. And everyone loves a wizard, you'd have the crowd behind you right away. Weirdly, I couldn't find odds on a Gandalf outfit, so here are my picks for Fury Wilder 3. Take Deontay Wilder to win by KO at plus 300. And take the fight to be decided within six rounds at plus 120. Ben Simmons. Will he stay? Will he go? How much money will he be fined? Will he even play? These are some of the questions we want the answers to. But most importantly for us betters, the question that we want the answer to is... Will he hit a three-pointer? Yes, you can actually bet on that. He's hit five in his entire NBA professional career, but can he add one more to that stellar record? Here's Noor. Mirror, mirror on the wall. How much longer will Daryl Morey stall? Okay, so I've got two questions. Number one, what the is happening with Ben Simmons? Is he gonna get traded? Is he gonna stay? He sounds like he'd much rather lose $7 million than ever breathe Philly's air again. Is he gonna go to a different team, the Timberwolves? And number two, if he does get traded, will he put his blood, sweat, and tears into producing at least one three-pointer this year? Yes. Maybe? I think if he gets traded, this could be his superhero origin story. Nothing makes you want to work harder than to shove it in someone else's face. Watching the Ben Simmons and Philly soap opera has been great television. Anytime Ben talks, I'm like, I feel that. Then MB talks and I'm like, facts. Then Ben talks and I'm like, but that makes sense. Then MB talks. Ben has made it be clear to his ex that he's done and that he signed up for Bumble with willing to shoot three points for you in his bio. So betting on one completed three this year, given he's on in Philly, is my pick. Well, that's it for the parlay today. I'm your host, Albert Vartanian. Please head over to Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok and follow us at The Parlay and head over to theparlay.com and sign up to our newsletter.